before starting the video i just want to tell you that now i'm doing game rental slash offline activation service basically any game you can imagine uh, i have that like call of duty modern warfare 1 2 3 star wars jedi survivor avatar Phantoms of pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another quick fsr3 video today we are trying wanted dead uh, this is a third person action adventure game uh, this is the latest update uh, it was something like 1.12 if i correctly remember so this game is uh, i have to say pretty optimized like uh, <clears throat> i was playing at 1080p and i was getting over like uh, almost 100 fps uh, with ultra settings so now to just show you the mods i have now uh, playing now on 1440p with uh, every other setting on right. this game some got some weird controls like uh, you cannot go back once you get in uh, like right now i am on uh, 1440p with everything on highest quality and uh, without the mod there i cannot go back without the mod i'm getting around only uh, 60 to uh, 70 fps uh, depending on scenarios i'm almost dead why are you running why are you running Okay, now we'll begin uh, the modding. But let me give this guy first. Last guy remaining, I think. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you guys have seen that piece. It's like around 60 to 70. Now it's a little bit better because the battle has ended and there's not a lot of demanding textures on its face. Open the skill tree. <coughs> time slow motion, nice. Bullet time. How do I activate that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's just activate the mod uh, so after quitting the game uh, we will be needing this zip wanted dead fsr3 so we are going to extract it to desktop then copy everything inside then we are going to go to the installation directory of wanted dead uh, here uh, after that wd game binaries win64 and where the 164.jp is located, we're gonna paste it here. So no need to uh, tweak any text setting or uh, edit any FSR to FSR 3 config because we're just gonna use the FSR uh, upscaler, not the DLSS. Uh, so yeah, let's just start the game. Okay, we're back in the game and this is still around the same or lower if i recall like uh, six, uh, it was around 16 70 yeah uh, so yeah we're gonna go to the setting and activate the fsr uh, display graphic setting is yes. uh, from tsr we're just gonna switch to fsr and hit apply and then we're gonna come back to the game and uh, there we go now it's like above 140 140 450 so it's like almost uh, two and a half times, maybe three, three, maybe three times the original FPS. Uh, like I was recording, I am recording in 4K. Like if I if stopped recording, uh, it will get even uh, better, like uh, above 160 FPS. So yeah, it's almost like three times the FPS. So yeah, this our implementation is good in this game. Uh, you can also use the FXA anti aliasing with the uh, FSR. Like you can set the FSR on low quality, and with that you can also use the uh, FXA anti aliasing for uh, additional smoothness and with that uh, great FPS boost. So, yeah, this will be it, guys. Uh, if this video helps you, uh, you can you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any kind of query slash issue, uh, you can comment down below and join the Discord for mod and everything. Uh, so, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Cheers. Now, I'm gonna play the game for one to two minutes uh, and yeah, show you guys the FPS boost how it's working or not. So, yeah. For the next time, cheers. We'll probably never see such a place like this again. I don't 
don't think anyone has. Stone, enemy troops. 